Hey, what's up, YouTube? AK back. Now, I uh, just uh, wanted to apologize once again for being so long. Um, you know, when it comes to content creation, I've been really overloaded with work, as I have already said before, when I gave you that other review for the PNSO and Kylosaurus. And uh, I remember one of the guys here who posted, um, sorry, I don't have your name in front of me, but you know who you are. And I know who you are too, but I can't remember what was your nickname. So um, uh, I just wanted to say, I can agree, I guess. So you could definitely take another, you know, like take a half a point off the accuracy. And that would obviously bring it down to maybe what, I don't know, about 4.7 or 4.8 roughly. Because it's a 4.9 according to my original um, review video. So... I think uh, you could definitely say that when, in regards to the tails being stiff and they've made it, you know, very flexible. So, yeah, I, I could agree with that, I guess. I mean, uh, everyone else, if you know something, please post comments below. Let me know if that's actually correct or if that's bollocks, but I think it's correct. So, <laughs> although I can see some people might be tempted to say bollocks just for the, for, for the heck of it, but let's, let's behave, okay? Anyways, I wanted to say um, that I, this, been, this video has been long overdue for many reasons. For once, I have finally got myself a Discord uh, server set up with the help of um, uh, Three Horned uh, Face Gaming or whatever he calls himself because he has very similar nicknames, but they're all different. So you know who you are anyway, the one who likes Ceratopsids, Idnes, I'm talking about you. So thanks very much and for doing, for basically contributing greatly to many things in regards to that and also a few other things in the past. Uh, you are now promoted to being my first captain of the Rex Guards. You will see that on the Discord server. The invite link will be in the description box, by the way. So please, guys, join in. I know you've been waiting for me to set it up. So it's all set up and good to go. I will be expanding it and uh, we will get some cool things going and when you of course get in please make sure you read the rules first and also take a look at the guidance notes in case you are unclear about what's going on and what threads mean and all of that stuff. It shouldn't be too complicated but uh, just my personal recommendation. Now the, the, the main focus of this video is going to be about my trip to Glasgow recently which was at the very end of uh, last month, as in in July. So that's been about 20-something days ago since I've been back and was able to make a video about it. And the reason why I went there was to see Trix Tyrannosaurus Rex. And there are many interesting things that I have noted. By the way, I will be making a Trix model kit soon as well, so stay tuned for that too. And it will be in 1 to 20 scale, so it will be a 24 inch roughly when it's fully made, if you were to stretch the whole, you know, thing on a straight line. But, uh, but, uh, the main thing about Trix, the T-Rex, that I have noticed were some unusual features that I haven't really noticed in the photos before, but I've managed to take a closer look and just realized a few cool things about it. So, um... The, uh, given that its age is estimated at 30 something years, like 30 plus years old, so it will be about 30 to 32 or whatever, so it's older than you, it's about the same age as Scotty, and what's interesting is that the head is actually still relatively small in proportions to the rest of the body. So it's kind of fully gained its adult size at 12 meters or 12 and a half meters or whatever it is that they have put it as, but I think it's just 12. I don't think it was actually 12 and a half. Um, or it could be 12 and a half, you know, I don't know, maybe it is. So the point I'm making though is that the head is still proportionally small. It's about the same size as AMNH5027, which is a younger specimen. And generally what we see in these dinosaurs and theropods especially is that, I mean in the large carnivorous theropods, it's how their heads 
tend to stay relatively smaller in proportion, but it's their limbs that grow quicker as they are young, and then when they reach their maturity, their heads gain on their sizes as well and become what we know as, you know, how they how it should be eventually. But with tricks, we're not seeing that. With tricks, we're seeing the limbs are still proportionally large and head is still proportionally small. It's quite a small head for a specimen of this size, to be honest with you. I mean, of course, M&H 5027 is about the same size. It's 12 meters or so, maybe 11.9 or something like that. But the main thing to understand about it is that it's very... It's very... Uh, I don't know. It's weird. It's weird to me. I was a bit surprised to realize that. I thought this skull was gonna be quite big, to be honest with you. But it wasn't. And, uh, it, it, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's still a big animal, and it's a big skull, but for Tyrannosaurus Rex, it's not a big skull. Does that make sense? I mean, for Tyrannosaurus Rex standards, this would be the smallest end of the spectrum, like 1.3, 1.35 meters long. And that's about the same size as the largest of Tarbosaurus skulls, basically. So, this is where they sort of meet each other in that sense. While most of the large and more mature specimens of Tyrannosaurus tend to have bigger skulls. They tend to be about 1.4 meters on average, maybe even bigger, because there are other skulls, like Sioux, uh, which is listed, and according to several sources anyway, some of them actually give lower estimates, but most I've seen give 1.5 or 1.52 uh, meters in length. Sco Scotty is also about the same, maybe a little bit even bigger, slightly, um, but it's about 1.5 as well, so if I'm rounding it up or down. Then we have the same case for Harley in, in the LACM. We've got uh, Tristan, which is a privately owned, but lucky for us, Franois did a very nice reconstruction of the skull, so we, uh, we can thank him for that. And uh, yeah, it's about 1.5 as well, and I'm pretty sure there must have been some more specimens Probably MOR008 would be approaching quite close. Now I don't know, I do not know if the Pex Rex, which is which I think is MOR980, I would imagine, I think that's what it was, or uh, the other one that, that's called, um, what's it called, CMN, well, basically the holotype actually, it's much easier to refer to, because I don't remember the full code in, of inventory for that specimen, but I think reconstructed skull is quite big too, but I don't remember if it gets to 1.5. So these two, Pex Rex and Holotype, I cannot remember if they actually get to that point. Now, if they do, then it's not surprising, because that's kind of consistent with what the fully grown sized adults are, even if they are still young, but that's how they reach their full size, what they look like. So it's maturity is mostly to do with other aspects of their looks, but not as much at this point. They would expect to be um, already with the right proportions, but that's not what we are seeing in tricks, which is very interesting. It could, of course, be an, a bit of an anomaly in a sense that it just didn't really grow that much. Or maybe it was a very delayed growth, delayed development. So there's many different things. And of course, there are other things like they, you know, they noted apparently that there are some bite marks on its face. So it was definitely involved in uh, some bickering, which is perfectly normal for Tyrannosaur standards. That's just kind of like, oh, yeah, yeah, okay, I'll, let, I'll bite you now. Yeah, whatever. So it's probably a normal thing at this point for them, and uh, yeah, I mean, but overall the specimen was very impressive, I was very happy, I also got, uh, I think, the ticket entry, I got f half 50% discount, and it was hilarious how I got it as well, I was there, there was like a young student uh, girl uh, sitting at the desk, and she asked, are you by any chance in any of the groups that, you know, can claim, I think it was something like concessions, like, you know, when you can claim discounts, being a student or disabled or something else, or underaged, 
or something like that, you know. And uh, I knew what it meant, but then I then I'm just I just said, you know, for the heck of it, I just said, does good looking count? She started like she she started laughing and she said, you know what, I'll take that. And she gave me a fifty percent discount <laughs> for the ticket. So yeah, that, that that was quite nice. So awesome. <laughs> Apparently, I now I un- now I understand almost getting a taste of what it's like to live a life on recruit difficulty. So uh, you know what I'm saying. But yeah, I mean that was cool. Enjoyed the trip. I also will say some other cool things about that trip, like. There, I went to the Kelvin Grove Museum as well, which was right across the road from that display where Trix was mounted. And um, there was a replica of Ceratosaurus juvenile skeleton. you are gonna put the picture up on the screen here. And um, there were many other things. There were a lot of uh, weapons and armor. Some of, a lot of it was also from, obviously from Scottish history because I was in Glasgow. And uh, generally, Glasgow has brought a lot of cool memories back because that's where my first experience of the UK was. So overall, it was an absolutely awesome and nice trip, although it was very short, but it was definitely worth it. I was I definitely do not regret going there. And uh, I, I gotta say, the end of the trip was mainly, you know, in the, the place where it all began for me, which was the first and only Russian restaurant in Scotland. And uh, it, it used to be owned by uh, uh, family friends, but now they have sold it to someone else now. So, But the place still stands, they still have people there, and uh, it's absolutely awesome. The main recipes are have pretty much stayed consistent, which is amazing. I'm really happy that even though the new owner came in, the main things still stayed the same in many ways. In fact, they have improved the looks and interior quite a lot too. And um, I will say the trip was amazing. I definitely want to do something similar and see if I can find some other place, maybe next time where I could go, maybe Lyme Regis or something else, just something I can think of that is very nice. And uh, we can do some more videos about that. And I guess that's it, guys. So now that you have made it here, let me make a few more announcements. As I already said, Discord server is operational, so please make sure you join and read the rules as well, first thing. And of course, uh, I although I'm nearly completing my currently ongoing orders, I have also managed to squeeze in some time and I have sculpted and finished uh, the Splitosaurus Hornerine 1 to 20 scale pictures are going to be right now on the screen for you. So take a quick look, maybe pause if you want to look at it a bit more. And yeah, they are ready to get molded and casted, so I'm gonna see if I can work something out for that. And if not, we can always set up a GoFundMe and who knows, maybe... The three lucky winners of you might be, you know, might win it. <laughs> Who knows? But well, I mean, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I don't want to promise about that because maybe I will have all the money I need to be able to get the materials to get the casting. So maybe I might not need that. But who knows? Maybe you would like me to do that. Maybe you would like to participate and have a chance to win it. And that means that three of you might have a chance to win the kits because once it's all done could make three castings for it, you know what I'm saying? So, but we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Let's not, you know, hatch the chickens, you know, before the eggs are... Uh, ne- what was I saying? Words. Yes, uh, let's not count the chickens before they hatch. There we go. So, um, what else has been new? Of course, um, I will be doing some more video reviews. I've got PNSO Triceratops, the old model, that I'm gonna be doing a review for, and I'm also gonna be giving this one away as a GoFundMe. So this will be our raffle ticket for the live stream thing, which will happen hopefully sooner than later. But I would not expect it to be this month anymore, I don't think so, because I've still got things that I need to finish by the end of the month. But once I'm done with that, we can definitely lay on this a bit more hardcore. and. Uh, also, there's Eofauna, 
uh, Giganotosaurus that I'm gonna be doing and there's also gonna be a PNSO Tyrannosaurus which I'm currently in the progress of making a video for as well. So, and there's plenty more other figures that are quite old and discontinued, maybe they might still be around out there, but I will definitely do some reviews for them too. So that's it guys, thanks very much for watching and uh, make sure you subscribe if you're new here and uh, I will speak to you later and hopefully uh, sooner, you know, actually than later, but until the end of the month I cannot guarantee anything, but once I finish all the orders we'll definitely have a chat again. And you can also speak to me now uh, on uh, Discord and also if you notice that the discussions uh, panel is now working, I don't know if, they've, if YouTube changed something or has that always been there, but uh, yeah, I can now post public comments there. So you guys can also participate in that uh, discussion. So whenever I have anything to say or any announcements, make sure you keep an eye on that as well. And uh, we can definitely take it from there. Thanks very much and Rex out.